it's a really terrible time of year to hold a festival. It's really quite awful. It's very, very hot. It's very humid. It rains a lot, and it, it rains so much that it's impossible to stay dry. You know, I, I remember kind of my Gore-Tex just soaking through and, and so on. And um, then you get blisters on your feet because your feet are wet all day, and it, it's just, it's quite miserable. And so you, you just have to transcend it because you don't have any choice. And also the crowds are very thick and there's no escaping them. So, so one has to, it's just suffering, 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 suffering. And, and finally you just have to surrender and, and then it's not suffering anymore. It's just, you know, all of humanity. And here we are all trying to have this amazing experience and instead we're all suffering. And isn't that what life is really all about? And so I think it was those kinds of experiences that first helped me understand that it's a purification ritual. And in my case, I think in most people's case, the festival's so big, I think most people who go to it run around a lot trying to see as much as they can. So on top of that, you add in being physically very tired, right? And maybe dehydrated. So I, I like to call it a, a thousand year old Kyoto sweat lodge because you're just enduring these stressors to the system and it kind of forces the ego to let go and to open up to, to something much bigger. And then we're supported by this shamanic music and by these exotic looking uh, artistic masterpieces and different kinds of deities. And the deities are um, the Bodhisattva of compassion or a goddess or a demon. And, and so it, it all goes into this amazing mix where you just realize reality is not just what we're told, right? It's, it's really much, much vaster and much pro more profound. So it's a, just this incredible 3D setting. It's an incredible container to have that experience.